In this circuit shown, the 6 volt battery has negligible internal resistance. Resistor R1, R2 and the voltmeter have resistance. Wow, very big. 1000 kilo ohm. Okay, good to know. Ooh, this voltmeter ideally have even higher resistance, like mega ohm or something like that. Because we don't want current to go through the voltmeter. But it seems like we're going to have some current here. Anyway, what are they asking? What is the current in resistor R2? So what is the current flowing through this? Let's call this I2, I guess. So I1 is going to be this one. And there'll be a branch that will come down here. Let's call this I3. Okay, and everything will join back together, become I1 again. Okay, if we need to find current in resistor R2, uh, we will need two other things. Because VIR, you want to find current, this one method, uh, you need to find V and R as well. Or you have to use Kirchhoff law. Ker Ker Kirchhoff's first law, which is a bit longer. Okay, never mind, we'll try our best. So what to do, uh, how to start? Uh, maybe you try and do some simplification first. Ah, yes, we should do that for circuits. So maybe if it looks too scary, we just simplify the parallel section. So this is 6 volts. We have 1 section, 2 section. So this one is our 100 kilo ohm. Now this other side, when you combine in parallel, uh, these are this, this. Let me label this. These two are in parallel. So when you combine them, they become 50 kilo ohm. And it's strange if you put it in parallel, the resistance become half. Okay, I calculate for you already. Lah, all right. So now we can think of how the potential is shared between these two. We want to find V across this resistor, V2. So that is also the same as this V, by the way. Also V2. So it doesn't matter. Lah. Ah, yeah, we find this V2 here, can ready. So if we can find V2, that will give us another clue for finding current. So let's do that. How do you find V2? Ratio is your best friend. So let's do ratio. There are a few methods to ratio. I'm going to take the ratio of V2. Over the total potential drop across the entire stretch of resistor. So this total potential drop, which is 6 volts. How oh, I know it's 6 volt. Battery supply 6, so total drop is 6. So V2 over the total, total is 6 volts. And that is ratio to resistance of uh, R2 and the voltmeter. So this will be 50 kilo ohm. Mm, against the total resistance. So 100 plus 50 kilo ohm. That's for the entire stretch in here. Okay, so this is a ratio of how much share you will take. So what's the share there? How much you share share in the end? This will give a V2 of 2 volt. Very small. Okay, so we have 2 volts share here. By the way, if that is 2, it means here is 4 already, though. Right? 2 plus 4 is 6. Okay, correct. This one is 2 times of 50. So the potential difference is also 2 times. Mm, correct. Okay, ratios all look good. So 2 volts. Very good. I think we are ready to find the current in the resistor. So end of the day, all we need to do is apply, uh, apply Ohm's law to our resistor here. Because now... We want to find the current going through it. We know the resistance. Already got. We know the potential difference. 2 volts. Yes. VIR. Let's go. A equals to IR. This is 2 equals to I times. Wow, that's big. 100 times 10 to the 3 ohm. This will give a current of 20 times 10 to the negative 6 Next to my head right here. So this is uh, going to be mu amps. So mu is negative 6. Uh. This is the correct prefix and it's 20. Okay, so that's how you can find this one method to find the current through this resistor. Alright, but that's all for this video. Any doubts, comment below. Any other methods? Ah yes, do share with us. 
in the comments down below. But that's all for this video. I will see you in the next one.